This is Dean Johnson from the TV show Home Time. In this short video, we'll show you useful tips for installing deck boards. Okay, Lenny, we're ready for a couple more. Okay, coming. Well, they really moved along here on the framing. Things are looking good. We're using five quarter by six inch deck boards. They have a, a rounded edge, which uh, really cuts down any splintering, that type of thing. It's really, really a nice way to go. And we're screwing everything down. In fact, uh, can you guys remember the last time we nailed one of these things down? It had to be, what, 10, 15 10, years 10, or better. Yeah. Well, the screws are so much better than nails, Dino. They don't move, and it, you know, and it's you can just tighten them up. You don't you have know. to worry about the nails popping out down yeah, the road. Yeah, they, they used to really pull up yeah. the nails. Oh, squeaky, it? and deck boards would tweak, you know, cup up. and Screws are the only way to go. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to get the margin set here, Bucky. As you can see, we're using treated lumber. We've used it many times before. Well, installing deck boards isn't particularly difficult, but I think there's a few tips me and the boys can pass along just to make certain you have real good luck at this. For one thing, you always want to stagger your joints. You don't want to have two joints like this in adjoining rows. Just spread them out a little bit. It's going to give you a lot better structure on the deck. What I like to do is pre-drill all the splices. That way they don't split so much. And it's real important to, to keep a nice even margin between your deck boards and, and the outside of your framing. We like to check ourselves about every five or six boards, snap a line if we have to, and then we can straighten ourselves out if needed. Now it's real important to maintain some even margins in between your boards. Some of these boards will bow out a little bit on the larger ones. Bucky, show them what we can do there. Well, typically what we've done before is just kind of put the old leg to it, and, and the then, longer ones will bend. Yeah, screw them down. But some of these shorter ones, you just you can't get enough muscle on it. So we screw in a scrap piece like this, and then Bucky just uh, wrenches on a little right bit, there. brings it in. Okay, that's good right there. And then. Get a few screws in if you only. Oh, well, that's right. Another thing we like to do is you can see we ran all the deck boards long. When you're done decking, take a chalk line, snap a line, cut them all off so they turned out nice and straight. And word of the wise is always cut your first deck board uh, before you start decking. Because when you cut, come down, you're cutting away, and you get to there, the saw hits the house, and you can't finish your cut, then you have to go find your hand saw and cut it off that way. The preserved wood in this video is Womanized Outdoor Wood. We've often used it on our show. The Womanized brand has a long history of resisting termite damage and fungal decay. For more information, visit womanizedwood.com.